Well, it's been a tough start to the year for the St. Trojans women's hockey team. They're 2-8, and eight, but even through tough times, they're sticking together, just like family, and one member should know all about that. Fanny Grimstad's in her first year with the St. Women's hockey team, and she feels right at home in a team atmosphere. Could you imagine if we had to go on road trips in our gear? <laughs> Skateboards. <laughs> yeah. Fanny and her family grew up in White City, just outside of Regina. And she has a lot of brothers and sisters, 15 to be exact. Story time with Auntie Joanne. Hello. Five of the kids, including Fanny, are biological. The rest were fostered, then adopted. It's exactly like a team where everyone has your role. I mean, there's the younger ones and the older ones, you know, or like the veterans, I guess, as you could call it, for a team, and you all have to work together. She walks from one team environment into another team environment and, uh, you know, so always involved in things like that and being part of things and, and the whole family atmosphere and that's what you tried to build with the hockey team too. Although she's battled a lot of injuries in her first year, Fanny's fit in like a glove with the women of Troy and her mom isn't one bit surprised. Some of the girls that have moved away have, you know, they need their own private time and their own space and so sort of stuff and Fanny's attitude is just bring it on her you know her dorm is kind of where everybody gathers and they have team dinners and that sort of stuff in her dorm and that because that's clearly what she's grown up with. Fanny's a go-getter she loved hockey so much she left home when she was in grade 11 to play in Melville Saskatchewan. We didn't have AAA in my hometown so I was just playing double A and I wanted to take that extra step so I could make it to post-secondary hockey. Of course, it was tough to see Fanny leave, but Dad Bill is very proud of his daughter. From the time she's been five five years old, she she's loved hockey, and it's been it's been her passion. And she's she's worked and she sacrificed, and and has uh, has done well to to get where she's at. And Fanny is proud of her mom and dad. She says they're making a difference, helping kids have better lives through adoption. They're my heroes. I mean. They're the reason I'm here today. They're, they just do so much for everyone else and don't expect anything in return. And that's just something I admire so much. Right now, Fanny says she's living the dream, playing hockey and going to state. It's not always easy, but it is rewarding. It's hard because I have to be away from my family. And it's a lot farther than Melville this time. I can't just go home for a weekend, but I'm doing it. Yeah, in the future though, like, I want to be a mom for sure. I mean, having all those kids and stuff around, I, I can't imagine not having kids, of course. I don't know if I'll have 15. <laughs> That's a great story. Thank you. Yeah. She's a good, good kid. Yeah. Wow, wow. All right. Weather